Now, I want to say one important thing about the Rastafari and roots reggae conception of Africa. I want to make sure that you don't think that, despite my sense of humor about some of these things, that the roots reggae notion of Africa was just this accidental, fantastic thing. For me, there's nothing more important than fantasy. Right? Without fantasy, you don't have politics. Without fantasy, you don't have reality. Bottom line. Okay. Now, it's important to understand that in Rastafari ideology and philosophy, after ska had evolved into rock steady, and then the deep roots style that favored by most people who like um, roots reggae, particularly the, the kind that comes with the rich influence of Rastafari ideology and its vision of Africa, it's important to know one thing that very few people know, so you're special to hear this. Um, there had been an actual debate and conversation in Jamaica amongst the Rastafari elders, the Nyabingi elders, Mortimer Plano, Bongo Jerry, and a lot of these well-known names in the Rastafari world. There had been an actual conversation in which these kind of grassroots philosophers, right, they, had, they got together and decided that we need to figure out what we mean by Africa. Right? This actually happened. Because they knew that the word Africa was getting out of control in some ways. They, because it preceded them. It came before them. It goes back to Ethiopianism. I mentioned that term. Ethiopianism really comes out of a lot of um, black churches in the Caribbean. And some of them took root in Africa, particularly South Africa, but also in America. Churches that interpreted the Old Testament in a particular way, right? That Africa was Zion. Rastas did not invent that. That was already there in black religious traditions in the Caribbean, in Africa, and in African American culture. For whole generations of people after slavery, you know what the word Africa meant. Africa was where you went after you died, right? Africa, I'll see you in Africa, right? That's how a lot of slaves talked about Africa, right? So Ethiopianism was a movement in the churches that really believed in Africa as the place after you die, right? So Rastafari did not invent this. This is something that was already there. But these Nyabingi elders and Rastafari philosophers, the people that directly taught Bob Marley, Peter Tosh, Bunny Whaler, right? It's important to know that these guys, their Rastafari thinking is not like a lot of Rastafari thinking in reggae music from the 70s where it became a commercial thing. It's the way you make money, you grow locks and you say Africa, Africa, Africa. Right? For Bob Marley's generation, Africa was something that they truly studied. Not, Af not African so much, but the Rastafari vision of Africa was something that they studied. Right? So they decided, what are we going to do with this thing called Africa? Right? Because Africa was also talked about in Mento and Calypso and earlier forms of music. Certainly in African American spirituals, right? slave music. Africa was all over slave music. Right? So the Rastafari elders got together and decided, wait, was Africa something we should maintain as a literal place? Right? Was it a target for black migration? Should we really go back to Africa? You've heard the phrase, back to Africa. Right? Or should it be just a symbol that motivates us? Right? Should it be in, in something in our imagination to orient and organize us? Right? In other words, was Africa a place or a way of seeing the world? Was Africa outside or was Africa inside? Right? They made that, they had that debate. And they decided that even though it's good if you can get to Africa, and many Rastafari people, well I shouldn't say many, significant numbers went back to Africa, some for good things, some for bad, some successfully, many not. Right? But they, had to, they came to understand that Africa should be instead a spiritual choice. Back to Africa meant back to your identity. Back to who you are. Or rather, back to who you think you are <laughs> in this understanding of your identity. So back to Africa, they decided, couldn't be real. In fact, a lot of the Orthodox Rastafari said, we shouldn't go back to Africa. Because if you go to Africa, Africa will die. Why? Because if you go to the real Africa, the philosophy Africa will be destroyed. 
And so that was a real debate. And they decided for the symbol. Right? The symbol won.